As e-commerce continues to evolve, email marketing remains one of the most effective marketing channels out there. And it's easy to see why. Emails are powerful tools for nurturing leads and turning visitors into loyal customers. After all, statistics don't lie. 99% of users check their inbox daily. Use the Vitals email marketing app to stay in touch with your subscribers. Acquiring customers takes effort. So why not go the extra mile and build profitable relationships? First, you will need an audience. If you don't already have a customer base that has opted in to receive your emails, you'll need to start working on one. From the moment you enable the Vitals email marketing app and onwards, all your new subscribers will automatically be added to the app's subscribers list. However, customers that have subscribed to your emails earlier on will not appear on the app's subscribers list. You'll have to import them. To see who your pre-existing subscribers are, go to the Shopify Admin Customers section. Adding them into Vitals is very easy. From the Subscribers List tab, click Import from Shopify, and you're done. You can also import subscribers using a CSV file. Just follow the consent guidelines and upload the required format. Make sure to also regularly curate your subscribers list, eliminate test accounts, fake or disposable emails, and other accounts that create negative engagement such as spam reports. The lack of positive engagement, like recipients not opening your emails, can also damage your reputation. This can lead to a lower deliverability rate, and your emails ending up in spam folders, as Gmail and other email service providers pay close attention to your sender reputation. The content of your emails is also very important. We'll touch upon this a bit later. Now that we've covered audience management, we can move on to the automations. As the term suggests, you can automate message funnels based on certain actions called triggers. Let's have a closer look at the abandoned checkout automation. As you probably already know, shopping cart abandonment is an important e-commerce topic. That's because 70% of digital carts never make it past checkout. It's true that not all visitors browsing your store will be in a buying mindset. Others, however, will abandon orders despite their intention of making a purchase. A few common reasons why shoppers abandon carts are distractions or problems that occur during the checkout process, finding out about additional costs, and security concerns. Use the abandoned checkout funnel to recover abandoned carts. You can send up to three messages to convince subscribers to finalize their purchases. Use the first message to remind them about their cart. Remember to keep your message concise, use clear language, and a clean layout. We provide a variety of templates that you can use. Include your branding elements and make the necessary tweaks to create tailored emails. You can also choose to start without a template and build your emails from scratch, controlling every aspect of the HTML code. If you have HTML code available from previous campaigns, you can use our HTML editor to upload it directly. Once you've set up all three emails, you can enable the funnel. From this moment on, any new checkout that is abandoned will trigger the funnel. Let's look at the delivery funnel wait time. Note that the first communication attempt is always linked to a trigger. The waiting period for the second and third email, however, is relative to the email that comes before it. For the abandoned checkout automation, the delivery process can look like this. The first email gets triggered when customers reach the checkout stage. If shoppers fill in their details but don't finish purchasing within an hour, a first email will be fired. The second email is scheduled 23 hours after the first one. Once this has been sent, the third email will follow after a wait time of two days, which is precisely three days after the triggering event. But what do you say in these emails? The first one is for reminding customers about their abandoned cart. The second message can help gently nudge customers into finishing their purchase, either by offering an incentive or asking them why they left in the first place. And finally, to make the buying decision even more appealing, stores will often introduce a discount code. If you feel that one or two emails within this funnel will suffice, you can disable any of the three individual messages. Before we move on to the campaigns tab, let's talk about the welcome and thank you automations. The welcome funnel is triggered once a new subscriber is registered on the subscribers list. You have three chances to make a good impression and invite visitors to return to your store. The thank you funnel gets triggered by purchases. When subscribers finalize their orders, they start receiving a series of three emails. These messages are about showing your appreciation and reminding customers about other interesting products in your collections. Additionally, you can communicate with your subscribers through custom campaigns. 
From the designated tab, you can create a targeted email and send it to a selected audience in just a few steps. First, you'll want to create the campaign and populate the settings fields with recipients, subject, sender name, reply to address, and preview text. Next, you can choose one of the many templates we provide. Here are some examples of animated themes. Start editing the content of your new email campaign and make sure to include suitable variables like the customer's first name, the store URL, an unsubscribe link, and other elements. Use the preview buttons to check what your email will look like on mobile and desktop devices. Proceed to the schedule or send tab and send a copy of the email to yourself as a test to ensure you're pleased with the copy and layout. Once you've reviewed everything, schedule the campaign for a later date and time or fire the email right away to your selected list of recipients. To optimize your marketing efforts, keep an eye on the performance of your ongoing campaigns. Aim for an open rate of 25% or higher and a click rate of at least 2.5%. If the results of your email marketing campaigns are below average, try making some changes. New subject lines or timing your messages differently might do the trick. And finally, here is a tip that can help you collect more subscribers. Go to the Shopify admin setting to ensure you are collecting emails. If your preferred communication method is by email, you can choose the second option from the customer contact form. This will only allow customers to check out using an email address and can boost the number of contacts for your store. It's important to understand that once you've obtained an email contact from a customer at checkout, marketing consent has not also been provided by default. Email marketing requires explicit consent in the form of an affirmative action. There are two options in the Shopify admin that control the consent request for email marketing. On the checkout settings page, you will find the marketing consent section. The first option controls the display of a sign-up checkbox, allowing customers to opt into your email marketing list. The second option makes the sign-up checkbox pre-selected by default. Note that this approach may not be allowed in your store's region. So please do your due diligence before ticking this checkbox. On a final note, email marketing allows you to create a unique connection with your audience. Send value pack content and subscribers will be happy to hear from you. If you found this video helpful, make sure you subscribe to the channel. If we can help with anything, please let us know. Our customer support team is available 24-7. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.